Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is your next 24 hours love and general tarot reading session for you Virgo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for the Virgo friends out there. Virgo, what's up with you? Let us see what is your message in the next 24 hours in love, relationship, and general situation, career, and finance. This is for you. And um, yeah, thank you for coming back. Thanks for tuning in. Let's start your reading, Virgo. Okay, Six of Swords. Going to be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Knight of Pentacles. There was a missed opportunity. Hmm. Missed opportunity. I feel like this is a love reading. A missed opportunity with someone who has a lot of player attitude or a lot of pride. Okay? Tower card. You are getting over this person, but they're not over you. Okay? So you're dealing with a person who is, I feel like it's a businessman or a person who's busy. Or they have this sense of energy of entitlement. Like, I'm handsome or I'm pretty. I am on top of my uh, career and life. I'm looking good. I've got money. And I will play around. Okay? So you're one of the victim. Okay? I don't think this person is exclusive with, with someone, with somebody. They just really like to play. It's a heartbreaker, yeah. You you are dealing with or you've dealt recently with a heartbreaker, okay? Six of Swords, you're moving on and you realize it's a missed opportunity. Yes, it is a missed opportunity. The person is a good catch. You know, good look, good money, stability. But their energy is, their energy is not really to be taken seriously. Like, they, they can't offer a serious commitment. You're over them, but they're not over you. Okay, just letting you know, King of Pentacles. Um, so they will be able to commit once for some of you guys by 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 accident you become pregnant or you have a baby, they'll commit because it will make them mature. You know, something's gonna happen with this person that the universe will give them a, a responsibility. Um, for some of you, they will get married really at at a time where they've finished all of the Gigolo, you know, like it's a bachelor at some point, a bachelor or a bachelor, a bachelor or a bachelorette, they're done with being single and they will get married. It so happened that you met this person during the peak of that bachelor, bachelorette energy. They're not over you, so you would um, reconnect or reconcile again in some future, okay? And hopefully, the next time you see them. You know, they're already a king of pentacles, which means that they can connect with you in a level that you want, commitment that you want. King of pentacles, responsible. They already have money. They become mature. Okay? So, move on without bitterness because life is too short. And the future is really uncertain. Every day, people, people make different choice, free will. It, it affects. It's like a domino's effect. Maybe today, I don't like you. After two days, I like you now. So there's a dominoes effect. That's why intuitive, tarot reading and intuitive reading, it changes from free will. Maybe this is their free will today. Two days, three days, four days, or a month, it could be different. So don't even think that, you know, if you had a tarot reading or this or that, you think that this is like forever. No, it changes. You know, I know a couple, they've reconciled after 10, 15, 20 years, okay? What's important in this reading is that you take care of yourself, okay? Six of Swords, move on. Move on and you take care of myself. My mother, she had the best advice with me. Is that when it comes to people or person or situation who is, I don't know, betraying you or not supportive of you, what you do or how you handle that is prioritize yourself. Look after yourself. Okay? In here, you look after yourself. Because right now, they're, look, they're not looking after you. Ooh, Ace of Cups. And if you look after yourself, you look after your heart, you have a possibility of new love. I'm seeing the month of September, October, November, December. Not just new love, a new relationship. So if you really decide... Um, Decide to walk away from this person because they're not ready. And if you wait, it will just frustrate you. 
because what they will give you is something you like the person but you don't like what they're doing you like them but they're not available it, it will just frustrate you so if you move on with this person and entertain other people person and you really try to find new love you will want you will find one new love opportunity it's available by online dating in this pandemic it's all available in online dating mm. if you're not comfortable with that then i suggest to really be seen make sure that you i don't know put yourself out there put yourself be involved and put yourself out there where you can meet people okay but there's new love around you and not just new love you've got an ability to really find the job that you really really want you know this this is somehow connected because if you found a new job you know this reading is telling me that you need something new in your life you know think about what you really want to prioritize if you want to choose a career or a business it will open your life to meeting new people and it will open you to meet someone new so this could be the one that i'm telling you that you need to be seen okay so focus on money if love is not working focus on your manifestation focus your money on your money check out the store sunshine-tv.com we're offering manifestation journal okay every purchase i'll send you a copy of a digital manifestation worksheet you know it's a manifestation cheat sheet cheat sheet on how to manifest okay email me if you're interested with that all right so that is that work on money and love will follow all right and the next reading is you've got the five of cups yeah it will heal you i mean you know if love is not satisfying and then you've got this amazing idea when it comes to work or business do that it will you know it will make your bank account so fat <laughs> four of four of swords don't worry about love all right don't worry about love because right now you, you you dealt with or you're dealing with people who is misaligned you know they're not positioned they're not positioned to be with you right now it was it was a matter it was it was a taste it was a test from the universe that i'll give you this person but i'll break your heart a little bit so you're pushed to divert your main focus to money okay eight of pentacles yeah work on your business work on yourself it's telling you it's telling it's telling you to work on your money your business your idea there's some sort of business venture an idea it will heal you it will keep you busy queen of cups it will keep you busy that you don't have time for love and then love will follow you you know unexpectedly you know i really feel like you're reading it will give you love unexpectedly Majesty. It's all it's like magic. You're so busy with your empire, with your career, with your life. You know, for some of you, you're gonna keep yourself busy with books, a new hobby, gym, all about yourself, money making for some of you. And then for some magic reason, Ace of Cups came along. Like I feel like this is you. You're sorting out something about career, finance, or property. You turn your back to love because of this person. And then it bite you because somehow August month, look at that, August month. You're so busy with career and finance and it came the Ace of Cups. August, and I told you guys, September, October, November, December, you could be in a relationship, okay? So don't tie yourself with this failure, with this heartbreaker. Sometimes we're meant to, you know, to, we're meant to, to meet people, you know, we're meant to have this relationship or connection as a lesson you know in every heartbreak or disappointment when it comes to relationship we take the lesson not the heartbreak or the pain we let it go it, it we become we become expert so i know it's easy to say but i hope you the best i give you all of my healing energy okay let's lock that in you're the last reading i'm doing today okay May you find the peace, the courage to build a new life after this heartbreak. And I'll see you soon again. And don't forget to check out the store. The link is down in the description box below. I'll see you in the weekend reading, guys. Bye-bye.